much. Um, I'm also a creative futurist, you know, it's good to have titles. So, um, I'm going to be quite provocative today. Is that all right? You feel comfortable with that? Yeah. I can't hear you. Yeah. All right, that's cool. So, my relatives has been in the construction business for four generations, and I always ask questions to them since I was about five, six years, and my, they told my mother, is something wrong with your kid because he's having a workshop and we try to have a dinner. <laughs> That's been my whole uh, life growing up and so on. So, uh, I'm going to go through uh, a scenario which I think about and I've been working with for many years. All right, so I see that the IT sharks like Google and Microsoft and so on are moving into the construction business. Why are they moving into the construction business? Basically because you're fat and happy. Thank you, yes, thank you. Sorry, <laughs> I asked you if I could be provocative, all right? So there's a lot of money in, in, the business, in, in your business. So that's, and it's been standing still for four generations. So it haven't developed so much, but uh, the business has developed. So you're very fleshy, and sharks loves flesh, practically. You feel good? Yeah. So you attract uh, sharks by having a lot of money and standing still. We have heard a lot of examples of you moving forward, but you're moving too slow, in my opinion. All right. You need to speed up the very much if you should survive the attack of the real IT sharks, the big ones. All right. The great white shark is my favorite, by the way. So I've been studying great white sharks and sharks for three years, and I've been taking diving certification. Is there anyone having? Uh, is the divers in the audience? Yeah, great. You know what this means? Means that you have a shark behind you. All right. Is anyone from BIM, BIM objects here? Want to take a photo of the audience? I want everybody to do this and look at that photographer. All right. You want to do that? And you say sharkonomics, sharkonomics. And you take photos of the audience. Thank you. And one more time, please. One more time. Say sharkonomics. All right, thank you. All right, so this book has been came, coming out, and it's, uh, it's swimming along, especially in, in Asia, and it's actually it's a bestseller in, in China, and I'm really happy about that. So why economics? It's basically about strategies, and you can say that the, the, the business strategy is in this level. The next level is uh, sport, better strategy. The next level after that is the military. So actually, I've been calling up organizations on as I can't say which, but as MI5 and Secret Service and SEPA in Sweden, and they really don't like to be interviews, <laughs> but I did it. So that's the type of nature I have. All right, so, but the next level of strategy is nature. It's superb. And the reason for the different levels is the competition. Competition needs better strategy. So in nature, can't the, the giraffes call the, the lions and tell them, you can't attack me because I'm not in your business field. I'm in construction. <laughs> I will always survive. I'm fat and happy, but I will always survive. No, it doesn't work like that. In nature, cannibalism is practical, that, which means that you should eat each other if you were in nature, and then this becomes really different kind of a seminar. No good, so we move on. But that, that's, that, that's what it is. All right, so it all started with an article. I did, I, I spent thousands of hours doing research in your business field, swimming along, doing interviews, and people were very open, and you know, it's, it's my fourth book, so with some credential, I get into the corporations, and, and I developed this article together with Anne-Marie here, and, and this article really set it up. So I was, instead of saying I'm too wild in my opinion about your business, people start to invite me to seminars like this. So thank you very much, Stefan and the company, BIM Objects, for doing that, because I criticize your business field, and you invite me and pay me to come and say it. It's quite fantastic. So an applause to BIM Objects for that. All right. That's quite amazing. My, my friend said in the first uh, seminar I had in Finland, for you know, you were strong in your business field. In Finland, this, this even 
famous would be even stronger. So my friend said, you need at least two bodyguards to go to his construction business field and tell them <laughs> that there are shark meat if they don't move on. All right. But if we look at what's in the water, can you tell me what about above the line, what's driving uh, the development of your business the most now when you're moving into technology, the di digitalization? Because strategy and, and digitalization is what I'm talking about, combining. Can you tell me you have any suggestions? What, what do you think drive the development? Because we basically have been talking about evolution all day. Evolution, how to move forward. And I've been doing interviews with some of the biggest construction business, R&D, and so on. All right. So what do you think is really most important? Any suggestions? Profits. Profit. Thank you. <laughs> yes. That's very important. Somebody else? Payment solutions. Thank you. Somebody else? Digital generation. Yes. Fear. Interesting. Yes, all of them, yes, good answer. <laughs> well, the thing is, I've been working with uh, creative science people for many years and, uh, and studied, yeah, people who work with psychology and behavior and so on. And uh, when I do my research, I, I go out into the reality and that's why I take in diving certification, I've been swimming with sharks and and that's how I do my research. I, I want to be in real life, all right? So what I found is that the most important thing, nobody said it, it's down here. It's fun. And if you visit BIM Objects office, you can see that they have the fun factor. They play ping pong and they have the fun part in, in, in their office. And that's a way to attract the best brains in the business. But as, you know, as a kid, we play a lot, but as a grown up, we start to think more than we move our mind. And we all need to play. So even if we talk about visual reality and argumented reality and all those buzzwords, it's just words we use to play. We need to play, we need to have fun. So if we focus on having fun developing the construction business, then we will move much more forward, faster. I met some people and you, you, you have to say if I'm too provocative, because that's what I am as a person. But I met some people when I did the interview in the construction field. I felt, it, it felt like they'd never been kids and playing. They need to go back and play. They need to go, they need to build a sandbox in, in the boardroom. They need to realize that, you know, we have to create something new. Start from the beginning. Don't talk about the history. Talk about the future. Look, look ahead what we can do together. All right. So. Where will the IT shock strike? Well, some people think this uh, is very provocative, but it's, this is how it is. They're attacking, and they're attacking a lot. And since, since, since the construction business feel that they are like the Titanic, unsinkable, they don't think so much about it. Uh, even they pay some of the biggest uh, IT sharks to, uh, to develop them <laughs> in, in, as a consultants, in my opinion. That's not really good especially if they have 500,000 employees. All right, so I started to blog and write about an idea 2006, 2007. I call it Google Downtown, and my idea was that Google could build a town. I started to have an idea about it, and, and my mind is like a creative futurist. So I blogged about it, and people start saying that you are a bit crazy, and I've been here that all my life, so it's not so complicated for me to be that. <laughs> and and, and, um, and I, did si I did mention this for 500 people at CIME in a big IT conference, and 500 people left. They were laughing a lot, you know. They were thinking I'm crazy, and there were some directors from Google and so on. Uh, I don't say they were laughing, but, but anyway, so, and I, I see, <laughs> they did, yeah, yeah, partly. Well, anyway, I see uh, um, development of ideas. You know, when you're in shark water, you have to see them uh, before they get too close to you as a diver. So I see it in the un unthinkable, in, in deep water, it's an unthinkable level. People think it's crazy because they cannot connect the dots in how I'm thinking. The next level 
is the possible level. That's when people start to see, well, something is coming, a change is coming, and in that level, they start to see the shadows of the shark change, I call sharks. And in the visible level, it's too late to act because the commercial value of it is not big enough. So you really need to see change coming in different levels. So this was 2006, 2007. 2000, I think it's fantastic. My presentation doesn't work also, so. Um, well, I'm sorry, it's the, wrong, uh, it's the wrong order, but it's all right, you know, we adapt. Sharks always adapt. So anyway, uh, 2000, <laughs> I checked it before for guaranteed work, all right? Uh, 2009, I, had a, I was talking with um, the CEO at, um, the global CEO at Google, amazing personality, really sharp, Eric Smith. And he said, he didn't say I was crazy. He said, actually, it's a good idea. I heard, I heard about it. And I was really shocked. <laughs> and we were just talking for a few minutes. And he said, well, show me the numbers and we do it. And that's quite amazing. Real amazing. The mindset of him was real, really great. And I can't say it's my idea. Well, it is. But anyway, it's, it's ideas ha have their own life. If you don't do it, somebody else would do it. Because it's, it's floating to the surface. So it's always coming up. And that's really interesting. All right. So what's happening now is that the idea of building a city is coming up to the surface. So now is Business Insider, CNN, and a lot of uh, different uh, media reporting. Actually, uh, th there's a rumor, a strong rumor in media, in credential uh, uh, media, that Google are looking for uh, l building a town around Detroit. Very smart, because Detroit was the heart of the United States, and now they can save it, they can be the future. Fantastic, really nice. But if I should be the CEO of, uh, of Google, they shouldn't build, build uh, towns, they should build countries, but I'm a humble Swede, so. Uh, anyway, so, this is the situation right now, but I think, why is the situation? Why are we talking about digital cities? In my opinion, all cities in the whole world are wrongly constructed. They're not constructed for the digital world. So the, the thing is why the IT sharks are moving into uh, the construction uh, business is not because of the business itself. It's because you don't realize what you have. You have an opportunity. You're sitting in a mine gold, but you don't see the gold. They have better strategies uh, employees than, than the construction business. So they see the gold. And the gold is that people are actually living in your home, their home page. Uh, actually, you have more power than Facebook and Google and everybody together, but you don't see it because it's too close to you and you own money on, on old stuff instead of moving into the digital. Everything that BIM, uh, BIM Object is talking about, if you build a business model together with that, that business model it, when it comes to revenue, it's much, much bigger money than you own on, on construction. Because it's the lifetime, it's consumption, it's it actually it will make the whole world into a shopping center if you just add business value, business model into the whole model of what you're doing. All right. So, my slides is not in the right direction. Uh, the clock is not right, but the audience is fantastic. <laughs> is that all right? Yeah, yeah. Ah, cool. So, uh, excuse me for jumping a bit uh, with this uh, presentation, but I have to do so. Uh, I really don't... Yeah, so... No. Here we go. So why should we change? Why should we adapt to everything that's happening? So what I'm saying here practically now is that your business, which are trillions of dollars, billions, trillions of dollars, is just a small, small piece of the cheesecake we were talking about. It's a very small piece of cheesecake. If you see the big picture, our society is wrong constructed. Every city in the world is wrong constructed. That's why we want to build digital cities, so we can build in digital com uh, consumption. And consumption lifetime is a much, much bigger piece of the cake than construction business. It's something totally different. And that's why Google and 
Microsoft and everybody is attacking your business field. So, you're a, you, you, you're a goldfish in an aquarium, but when you set yourself free in the sea, you're a whale in gold. And that's what they see. That's why they're hunting you. All right. So, with that, with that in mind, I will try to <laughs> find the next, sli next slide. So, what I'm saying now is digitalize or die. That's the same phrase as move or die. And what I see, the reason for why they're attacking you is because you're moving too slow. You're moving into digitalization, but you're doing it too slow and with the wrong strategies because you don't see the big cake. You don't see the big, uh, the big picture. And the big picture I'm saying to you is consumption. Consumption, lifetime consumption, is enormously more bigger than you can ever imagine that uh, con construction business is. So it's, it's, it's a game changer. It's coming, and it's coming, but you need to see the big picture. You need to see how big your market is in another way. So with that in mind, I will try to find, uh, which I think is my last slide, and say thank you very much and swim well. Thank you. <laughs>